Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Here in this section we'll be learning the quantity calculation for arches and of course arches are the most important members of a structure There are many types of arches but here in this section we'll just go in detail with circular arches and remember the circular arch may be just a full arch this may be just a semicircular arch and of course this guy may be just a segmental arch all right so we'll just discuss all these three guys in this lecture how to calculate the quantity of these three guys before starting the quantity calculation i just want to show you how these guys must look like in real life and picture just maybe all right so just look at this guy the first one this one this is just a complete circle so you can call this guy as a complete circular arch all right and this is quite simple i think the quantity calculation for this guy we'll just calculate the ring area we'll multiply this guy with thickness so we can just get of course the quantity or the volume of this arch so this is quite simple i think and the next thing this guy just look at this one this is just a half circle so this may be just known by semicircular arch right wow look at this guy Hey guy, you are awesome. Just keep this up, right? And the next thing, just look at this guy. Of course, this is just segmental arch, right? So th these are just the picture of these arches. You can recognize these guys, but from these uh, picture, maybe right? No problem. Just I'll come straight now. We're we're here into solutions, and I'll do some examples, right? And this is of course example one. And in this example, we are just asked to calculate the quantity of a given arch. This is of course an arch with span 10 feet. The height is also given 5 feet. And the thickness is breadth is given as 13.5 inches. Alright. And I just look at the, this guy. Uh, when uh, the thickness and the breadth are the same, just look at our hair. These are just 13.5. So this is uh, just a square in cross section, right? The cross section of this arch must be a square. And just look at our hair. Just uh, uh, the span, the span is just 10 feet and the height is 5 feet. What do you guess? Of course, I can guess that the arch is just a half circular arch, right? Or the semicircular arch. Because the height just represents the radius and the span just represents the diameter of this guy. So the uh, height is half of the, the, the span so I can get this is just a semicircular arch. So I'll calculate the quantity of this guy just as a semicircular arch. Now I'll, I'll just uh, come and calculate the quantity of this guy. And the quantity means the volume. And of course, the volume is always the cross section area times length. I can also write this guy in form of the thickness times the breadth. Because this will be just the section, right? Just look at our hair. 13.5 inches. And the 13.5 inches is just 1.125 feet. To convert inches into feet, just divide the inches by 12. So we can get this guy in feet. So 13.5 times 13.5, we can get this guy is section area times length. Now the length is just a little challenging thing over here. Let me calculate this guy over here. I can, I can just say the arch length must be the circumference of a half circle. Do you get this? Because this is a half circle, right? But also I can say which length should I take the external are the internal because the external will be just little uh, larger than the internal right so which one should I take the external or the internal I think none of these I'll just take the central one so this is the mean guy right and the calculation will be quite accurate so you can say the arch length equals the circumference of a half circle and the circumference of a full circle is 2 pi r. So I'll just divide this guy by 2. I can get the circumference of a half circle. Remember, 2 and 2 just cross each other. So I can get the pi r. 
Now here I don't know what's R over here, right? I'll just calculate the R over here, the radius of this guy. So the radius must be the half of the span, which is up to this edges. I'll just add the half thickness. So I can get pi plus the half thickness. And this is quite simple and straightforward, I think. And you can already clearly see this guy, the span is half or taken where hair is 5. I'll just add the half thickness and the thickness is just 13.5 inches or 1.125 feet. So I can get the R equals 5 plus 1.125 divided by 2. So I can get 5 point blah 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 feet. I'll just plug this guy over here in the length, arch length equation. So arch length must be pi r. So pi times r is just over here. You can get the arch length equals 17.475 feet. Just plug this guy over here in this equation. We can of course get the quantity of this arch equals 22.117 CFT. And this was of course our approach and we have done it. Let me just jump to another example over here. And we are asked to work out the quantity of the given arch. Where is the arch? Wow, it's over here. Yeah. As I can see, this is just a segmental arch, right? With span 8 feet. And the thickness is 9 inches. The breadth is, of course, 9 inches too. And the height. Remember, these all guys are given just a pectio. Right? So, everything is just clear, I think. And, of course, the central angle is 106 degree. What does the central angle mean? Of course, this is just the angle palmed by two radius, right? And remember, the central angle is always equal to the deflection angle, if you know better about deflection angles. I'll just not do a, uh, explain that guy over here, because this is just a quantity surveyor. All right, so uh, everything is given. Nothing is just uh, complicated to understand. I'll just come over here into quantity. And the quantity means the volume, all right? The quantity may be just in numbers, any other things, but over here it's a arch. I'll just calculate this guy as a volume. So cross-section area times length is always the volume. And remember, I can say the cross-section area is just the breadth times thickness because this is just a square in cross-section, right? Times length. This will give me just the quantity of this arch. Plug and check in, we can get the quantity B times T, which is 9 inches. And the 9 inches is always equal to 0.75 feet times the length. Now the length is just over here, little challenging. I'll, I'll just calculate this guy over here. The arch length, we have a nice formula, of course, from the mathematic, right? And of course, remember, I'll just calculate the central because all things are given effective, right? So the formula is just theta phi r divided by 180. And this formula, the theta and the phi 180 are also given, right? I'll just calculate the radius. And for radius, I have a nice formula. A square plus h square divided by 2a. In this formula, the edges represent the half of the span. And of course, the h is given, right? So plug and check in, we can get 4 square plus 2 square divided by 2 times 2. So the radius is just 5 feet. I'll just plug this guy over here in this equation, the arc length. Because all these three guys are given, right? The theta is just 106 degree. And the r is just over here, 5 feet. So plug and check in, we can get the arc length equals 106 pi and 5 divided by 180. So I can get the arc length or the arch length equals 9.273 feet. I'll just plug this guy over here in the quantity formula, right? So we can get the quantity of this given arch equals 5.216, of course, and the unit will be CFT, right? So this was our second approach, and we have done, of course, it. I think you are understanding better now to calculate the quantity of any arch, right? And this is the same method we can apply for any arch. And nothing is complicated, I think. Right? And this was quite straight forward. So, thank you for watching. See you next time, buddies. And, wassalam.